Hello. Um, my topic was rural colonialism in Colombian culture. Colombia. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start off with some quick facts about Colombia just to set the book kind of. So uh, Colombia, it's in South America. The capital is Bogota. Uh, nickname is the Gateway to the South because it is uh, technically in Central America, but since it's continental it's South America, uh, their primary language is Spanish. The start of the colonization started in 1525. Uh, their final independence was declared in uh, 1910 and accepted. I'm oh, sorry, 1810 and accepted in uh, 1819. It's the fourth largest economy in Latin America, one of the world's 17 mega diverse countries, and its prime exports is Shakira drug coffee sausage. <laughs> Next, we can have a brief history of it. So, it was discovered in 1499 by Alonso de Ojeda from Spain. Um, he is actually one of Christopher Columbus's partners, so when they separated, they started discovering uh, their country by themselves, so in his honor, it was named after Christopher Columbus of Columbia. Um, they started colon colonization in 1525, that means it made an official uh, colony or territory of Spain, and they started get, sending their people there and killing the people that were already there. Uh, so throughout their history, they've had multiple political <coughs> divisions and civil wars, seeing that they are uh, one of the countries in the middle of Latin America or South, uh, Central America. So they have had a lot of different uh, identities or different affiliations with other Latin American countries. So uh, we, sorry, some of those are that Patria Bobo, so the Foolish Fatherland. So that was a civil war, 1810-1816. Uh, and then the Thousand Day War, which is mentioned in Gabriel, one of his other books, 100 Years of Solitude, um, which is another civil war. Uh, they then became the United States of Colombia in 1863, and finally Republic of Colombia in 1886. So now to the book, we have the setting. So the setting of the book is placed in a small town, Costa Colombia, uh, with a tight-knit, community-oriented uh, village. Um, all these people who are close together, somewhat related, somewhat not, but all the families know each other, and it's a very village mentality. Um, however, there are still distinct ethnic groups, uh, not least underlying hostility and social division. So these, these ethnic groups Oh, sorry. Yeah. So that leads to social, some social division, but just like us, there's Arabs, whites, Spanish, whatever. So now to the important part is culture. All right. So it is uh, its proximity of Latin American countries and its early development, colonization, led to having a lot of different races and different ethnicities come to this country as uh, an economic boost. So it attracted a lot of different uh, different ethnicities. So we have the Spanish, the Portuguese that represented from Brazil, uh, the Creole and African. So that's the residue. When it was colonized, they brought in slaves to do all the labor. So of course, some of them stayed there. So there is a large Creole uh, and African slave. Uh, presence, the Arabic that we see in in the book, and Oriental, that's with Zoo. So Arabic would be uh, Santiago and Ibrahim Bazar. Uh, how they all came along with Zoo, they all came as economical immigration, so that's later deciding to pursue uh, happiness in life in Colombia. So that just shows how many different, uh, different ethnicities come to Colombia. Uh, so that, again, that is somewhat of an impact of the role of colonialism in Colombian culture, since it is so diverse, and as most Latin American countries, it is a rich, diverse culture, because of all the people who came uh, through colonization and it being uh, in the econ economy that can support different ethnicities. Uh, so colonization brought many concepts that we will discuss. Uh, in other presentations, such as patriarchy or machismo, magic realism, and religion. So that's the influence of European uh, presence in Colombia. So it just mixes all of their cultures, basically. In short, the forced integration of Spanish and Portuguese culture within South America is pivotal to the creation of Latin America as diverse and rich culture. So that just shows how uh, the fact that the Spanish and Portuguese, so the Europeans being there, brought others there and diversified their culture and uh, we can see impacts of that 
in the book where we have different ethnicities all living in the same small village. Okay, so now to the questions. I have three questions. First question is going to be, okay, first and second question. Uh, could this story take place in another setting? Yes and no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't want to answer it. <laughs> and you, okay, so um, I would answer strictly no to that question because it is also revolving around the fact that it's a small community, it's a small village, and the fact that everyone knew um, each other and knew that he was going to die as another <coughs> element in the book is that everyone knew what was going to happen and everyone knew who he was. So having this in like a big city or like a big like in the capital, for instance, you wouldn't be able to have this uh, sort of village mentality that comes with all these people and the ability or like, they think they can kill someone in the village and others think it's okay. Well, like, it, like I get what you mean, but couldn't it have happened in the same sort of village, but not in a Colombian village, say yeah, like uh, Russia? Yeah, but yeah. the setting is a small village. Yeah, okay, okay. so the setting is a small village, but not a country, no, it can happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what cultural elements might in effect the plot? from the colonialism of the European influence, where it brings in the patriarchy of the society, so where the twins have to protect their sisters, and they're depending upon. And that seems okay. So what was the relationship like between these varying cultures? There is underlying hostility. There's still a distinction, but they still had to work together within their same village, because there was a mix and match between the two. Okay, so did you find out any research relating to the mixing and matching of these yeah. cultures? Like what happened, or how much yeah. it happened? Like in terms of who is considered a part of, like a hierarchy starts to form. Yeah, okay, that's. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, sorry, I think this is the end of your presentation. No, no, I have three questions. Very I have three questions. Okay. Okay. The third one's big. Okay, the big good. one. The third one's Ooh. big. Okay. Ooh. In what way can we parallel Bayardo to colonialism? So Bayardo is the guy who came in out of nowhere with all this money, and all this wealth, and all this beauty, okay. and uh, basically runs the town now just because he can. So he is, in terms of the question for us. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not going to get there. So since he comes in and does what he wants with all that money he has, it can be parallel to not just the Colombian colonialism, but really any colonialism of, like, say, North America, too. You come in, you have more power over someone else, so then you tell them what to do. So he gets on top because he's pretty and you're pretty yeah. hard. Right. He's on top. Well, what, what's missing come on, Kyle. Um, from biological colonialism is that a colonist usually would go take over and then impose his way of life on others, which is not something that Bayardo does. You can see that uh, colonists, colonists uh, they come over to the, to the start of the colonizer. And they make it like a mini version of where they're from. But Bayardo just comes in and just takes over. So he's more like of a revolutionary than a colonist. I think it's also because they already have the uh, they already have the European <laughs> like setting for him to come in. So it's already right. so uh, he already kind of has that foothold in it. So there's kind of already that uh, European mindset they're already introduced to them. So when he comes in. It's less of, I have to take over, but rather, he's on top. He's one of the true people coming in and establishing order. So necessarily, those who are coming from abroad with money and the European lifestyle are put on top. So that kind of dictates what I'm saying. Where it is this society. Can you, can you also elaborate in regards to how a community feels about Santiago Nassau? Where is he in the hierarchy? Yeah. No, he's pretty rich. He's pretty on top because he had the money from his family and his father, and they rooted themselves respectively in the community. 
How did they root themselves respectfully? Well, having the ranch and having like involved. Well, who are what's his, what are his origins? He's Arab, right? He's Arab, right? Yeah. His dad is Arab. Nisar. Okay. And his dad is Arab, and then Mary's who? Spanish. Okay. Fast. How are the Arabs viewed in the story? On top. Mm -hmm. like they, 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 well, they're a separate. They're somewhat shunned from it because yeah. even the other friend doesn't. No one talks to him. The Yamir or whatever. Yeah. Um, no one talks to him, and he's he's the Arabic friend that comes in. Everyone else is Spanish, so they are separately, like obviously separated. But I think that they do also try to integrate. Wait, I think they kind of like um, do negatively because they even accuse them of having poisoned um, one of the twins sure. in prison. So sure, keep going. But yes, the poisoning of the twins was just because they knew that they killed someone. So it was just a real, like. They're they're helping out one of their the people from their country or from their or, or like origins. So I guess it's it it makes sense in a way that if you're coming this country and you have your whole I guess crew in a way that's coming to to co colonize this city, like you want to support that crew in the same time as you want to like be integrated. So if they're um, claiming that you killed one of their own, they're gonna come back for you. It's in any like that's gonna happen in it's, any uh, okay. any origin. So I, I don't feel like. Okay. But how do they feel about? No, but I. I Santiago. Well, like no one. Wants I don't think they feel bad about Santiago. But I think the 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 worst part we can see is very negative about the Arabs is the maid and how they they treated like the maid and how they used her as a mistress and now she's a cook and how the the mistress is scared of Santiago. Is she Arab? No. No, 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 no. She's no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I yeah. understand. True. But that's also like, Ibrahim also chose to make her the maid. Like, they, they put her in a submissive spot. It's not necessarily how it works, but that's how they put it. And he's also trying to integrate with them. Because even Santiago, even though he's half Arab, he's still like, he's supposed to be with some other girl. Like, a uh, Spanish yeah. book, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But Nassau was not. Oh, no, I don't know. They're trying. They're trying. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying. Okay. Yeah. Is it his mom's Spanish though? Yeah. So, why? Well, and the fact that he doesn't have an Arabic name. No, it's right? trying to Because like, oh. technically, they could be trying to get rid of society. They're trying to get rid of that. He has the last name stays, but they are changing the first name to try to get into society. Okay. Okay, but I think I think there is still a topic that has not necessarily been fleshed out. What is it? Fleshed out. Regards. Um, in regards to how the community feels about Santiago Nasa overall. Who? The fact that they don't tell him that he's going to die means they don't care about it. Yeah, that's why I said he's an actor. I don't think he's going to be so like, Yes, keep going. You're right. Like, he, perhaps he has integrated himself. You're right, he is wealthy. He's not part of the inside clique of the world. Yeah, there's something about, like, he's definitely kind of marginalized, specifically because of his Arab roots. Yeah. Well, I don't know about if it's because of his Arab roots, I just don't. Okay. Why, why would it be because of their roots? Well, we're trying to figure that out. Oh, because no. they're still distinct groups, and you can yes. still separate. That's why there's true. Oh, like there. Oh. Yes. Except yes. Really? Yeah. If he dies, he dies. Sorry. Are there any other there's one. Yamir Rahim. Who? Yamir. His friend from nowhere. And then there's oh, Ibrahim. Cool. But don't like right. Arab. He's not Arab. I know. I know. I thought. Sorry, Karen. Say repeat your question. No. No. It's the other. <laughs> This is yes, what yourself. Your presentation, this is what I, is, are there any other slides to your presentation? No, thank okay. you. So. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, he's put like a size of no, no. but I don't think it's really like they want him to die. Like they try to run him with a letter, and every time like the twins stop people, like they're gonna kill some time and stuff. Like no one takes them seriously. And it's like no one knows what happened really, until like they figure out, like, you know, like no one knows like the girl was in the like virgin, virgin, and like all that stuff. 
Like they don't think that the two is serious. It's not like they know for a fact that okay. he's like, okay. It's like they're in between. Okay. Like he's a side, but like they don't want him to die. Like they don't. Yeah, they don't want yeah, him to die, like but they don't care if he's dead or alive. They're not quite out. It doesn't affect the other. Okay. It's not like they want him. Sure, David. But I feel also like they didn't do much about it because I feel like. <laughs> When you're first introduced to, to the story, it feels like this society is very entertaining. There was a death that just happened, but once you get through it, the society seems very plain. So it feels like they, they need to see some of that drama. They wanted to see an Arab dying in the society. Ooh, okay. <laughs> like, right? Like, they, they feel like it's going to add a bit of drama, so why not all of us witness it at once? And not say anything about it. But that's the thing, it. they didn't all know, they all knew. Like, what? what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, they were all aware that everyone else knew they didn't know that, that he was going they to get killed. <laughs> well, everyone was talking about it though. Everyone was yeah. like, did you hear? Did you hear? Like, yeah. Now, that's like, this is, and this is what I wanted to add in. It's supposed to help, it would have helped clarify this issue, I think, a little bit more. When, um, when Columbia was colonized, over time, there, this hierarchy started to exist. Specifically in relation to who you were and like what your skin color was, and it's not to the extent of like I'm saying like America or anything like that, but it's this idea that if you were a European, okay, like a colonizer, you were at the top, okay. But then over time, what happened is your generations. You're right. There was this mixing and matching of the groups, right? And so over time, you have um, people from like, for instance, the Creoles would mix. Okay, with the colonizers. Okay, and then you had this kind of um, other ra race, which was called the Mestizo. Mestizo, I think. Mestizo. Yes. yes. So, um, and they were. Where were they in this hierarchy? In the middle. Yeah. They were described too. Yeah. Even though they had that colonial blood in them, they like they still kind of are put on the side. My angel. What? What? What she's like playing? What? Again. <laughs> we talked about that last year. It's, it's kind like, of like it's like, like, it's, like it's, we're, it's bad to be black and it's bad to be white, but it's bad to be both because you're not wanted anywhere. Okay, true. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. That's yeah. irrelevant. Okay. Well, I don't know. That was good. That was good. You surprised us. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> what happened? Is it done? Yo, madam, is it done? Is it done? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait,